integrals on trigonometric and hyperbolic functions. So we have a set of integral formulas. Set A there is trigonometric functions, load cosine, sine, secant, secant x, tangent x, cotangent, cosecant, and secant. So on the hyperbolic functions, we have the hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cosine, hyperbolic sine, cx. Then we have the hyperbolic cosine square, hyperbolic. Then we have the integral of dx over cosine cx. But we'll have an example on this one. So integral of sine 30x dx. So your solution would be so from your formula integral of sine u du equals to minus cosine u plus c u equals to 30x your du equals to thirty dx so this one Integral of sine 30x dx equals to integral of sine 30x times 30 dx. Of course, you have that on one all over 30. So equals to 1 over 30 integral of sine 30x then 30 dx. Simplify minus 1 over 30 cosine 30x plus c. So this number 2 here, integral of cosine x over 20 dx. So your u equals to x over 20 du equals to 1 over 20 dx. So integral of cosine x, x over 20 dx equals to 20 integral of cosine x over 20. Then we have that one, 1 over 20 dx. equals to sine or 20 sine x over 20 plus c. Number 3, integral of x secant squared 20 x squared dx. So your solution just rearrange this one to integral of secant squared 20 x squared x dx u equals to 20 x squared du equals to 40 x dx so integral of secant squared 20x squared 
x dx equals to 1 over 40 integral of secant squared 20 x squared 40x dx equals to 1 over 40 tangent 20x squared plus c integral tangent squared x plus cotangent squared x plus 5 dx so what you do with this one is use identities so identities you have that one tangent squared x equals to secant squared x minus 1 cotangent squared x equals to cosecant squared x minus 1 these are the identities so employing that one the in, integral equals to the integral of secant squared x minus 1 plus cosecant squared x minus 1 plus 5 then you have that 1 dx so equals to integral of secant squared x plus cosecant squared x plus 3 that 1 is dx Simplify tangent x minus cotangent x plus 3x plus c. So integral of 4 secant x tangent x minus 6 cosecant squared x dx. So your solution is equals to 4 integral of secant x tangent x minus 6 integral of cosecant x trans squared x dx of course this one is we have dx So simplify as to 4 secant x minus 6 minus cotangent x plus c or equivalent to 4 secant x plus 6 cotangent x plus c. So for the hyperbolic sine 12x dx solution is using the formula your u equals to 12x du equal to 12dx so equivalent to 1 over 12 integral hyperbolic sine 12x times 12dx equals to 1 over 12 hyperbolic cosine 12x plus c for this one hyperbolic secant squared 10 x plus 3 or u equals to 
10x minus 3 du equals to 10 dx so equivalent to 1 over 1 over 10 so second hyperbolic square 10x plus 3 x plus 3, then you have 10 dx. Simplify 1 over 10. From formula, this one is equivalent to hyperbolic tangent. 10x plus 3 plus c. So integral of x squared hyperbolic squared x cubed dx u equals to x cubed du equals to 3x squared dx So integral of x squared hyperbolic squared x cubed dx equals to one third integral of second hyperbolic squared x cubed times three x squared dx equals to one third hyperbolic tangent x cubed plus c for this one one minus tangent x quantity squared dx so this one could be written as well to the integral of Expand 1 minus tangent x squared square the first term so 1 minus 2 tangent x plus tangent squared x dx equals to integral of 1 minus 2 tangent x plus second squared x minus 1 dx equivalent to integral of minus 2 tangent x dx plus integral of second squared x dx equals to minus 2 ln of second x plus tangent x plus c.